my first time in the stream. Nice to be here. Looks like you've got a pretty good thing going here. Keep at it and I know you can be a real streamer one day. <laughs> Chill, buddy. <laughs> Abo, thanks for the 43 months. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. You're right. One day I can be a real streamer if I just try hard enough. You're right. <laughs> that made my day, man. Thank you. Thanks for the 43 months as well. Welcome back. How's everybody doing? What's up? Uh, we are getting this run, man. We're doing it right now. I am ready, dude. And Apple, Apple will not decide if I'm a real streamer or not. I believe, and that's enough. So, <laughs> oh man. Um. All right, the timer is good. We're good. Let's go. Also, I apologize about the later start of the stream today. Uh, there was something I had to get done for the YouTube that was kind of just a revision of something. It wasn't really intended, but uh, I did like a sponsored video um, or there's a sponsor in a video and then they changed their deal that they were doing. So I had to remake the video in part to be able to do that, but then it has to render and process and all those things. So um, we would have been a little earlier, so it's going to be a slight shorter stream, but it was for good things. The video should be pretty cool. It answers a question that gets asked more than pretty much any question in general, so hopefully you guys like it. So once they approve it, then I can, um, then you'll see it. It'll be uploaded. Uh, haven't I done zero damage Bloodborne run before? I've done zero hit runs before. Haven't completed zero damage on this game uh, or Demon Souls. I was wondering why the the splits weren't resetting. It's because they're not even open. <laughs> like you can see them, but they're not they're not actually open on my end. All right, there we go. We're good. Uh, but Tam, hey, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? <laughs> what what does Bleed Divide mean? <laughs> biggest sticking point on the run lately uh honestly it's just shadows and random stuff so uh phase transition on shadows is pretty difficult sometimes i'll get hit by like a combo of attacks when i'm trying to set up the uh the transition for the phase two and then like a lot of the other issues we were having because i was paying so much attention the last time we streamed i actually was able to not only make new strats uh, for certain sections, I, I, I was able to cut off like a good minute and a half off the run just from realizing something um, that we made like two mistakes on, I think. And then there's a bunch of other things that we improved without even needing to look into it too much just because I was like, I was paying way more attention to the run. So that helped a little bit. But then even in doing that, we still made some new mistakes and I got killed on shadows twice, I think. So if I can uh, do them perfectly every time like we were for a little bit. That will help at this point. That's probably the most important thing. And I'll practice them if I have to. I just, I've already put a lot of time into it, so I think I'm pretty good at it. But being good at shadows doesn't mean you can always do it well. It's not that simple, so. Uh, Ethan, it's going pretty good, dude. How are you? Your any percent needs so much clean under one hour. Oh, that's okay, dude. Honestly, everybody does their own thing. If I ever have a standard that I hold to myself, you shouldn't necessarily always compare yourself to that standard that I have because I'm in competition with myself all the time. So, um, whatever your time is, is the time that you can use as like your next target to improve. But you can't really like look at someone else's time or uh, try to draw correlations between other people's gameplay because they might have practiced a lot more. I think if you can do it in like a good way, like an inspirational way, that's fine, but just don't actually feel like there's a general good time or bad time. There, there pretty much isn't for the overall player base, it's just depending on what you're actually doing. And the people that are specific about it probably practice the shit ton, so it's not really the same uh, 
you know, level of play to be able to compare. Or uh, knowledge and time investment. So I think an, uh, just over an hour is pretty damn good, dude. That's amazing. Wasn't able to do that myself until, uh, like, probably still until I started taking the game more seriously. Anyone know the highest percentage of subpayment Twitch lets streamers keep? Uh, we're not allowed talking about it. Um, I signed in a, uh, my contract. I have an NDA that if I relinquish that information, I could be it could be terminated. So I can't I can't verbally tell you that. Um, a lot of people can already find the information if they want to, but I won't be able to say it. And if anybody else says it, I would warn them on their stream that they're at risk of getting in trouble. Uh, it doesn't always get enforced, but it is something like I try to always. Uh, play very close to the policies just because uh, I've never had a strike before never planned to and uh, It's really easy not to if you just pay attention like a little bit Sometimes not even you could just be like an idiot and still be fine because it's not that hard I think it might get harder in the future depending on what kind of person you are but... Oh no guava it doesn't matter it's fine it's mainly if I'm telling you something that's breaching what I've um, you know legally signed that's my bad. If someone else mentions it in chat, it's not me mentioning it, so there's no correlation to me breaching anything. It's just they just randomly said it. Like I said, there's people that know, um, or you can figure it out, but I can't tell you, though. And to be fair, like I'll say that we have the best contract you can get, so the we keep the highest percentage you can possibly get on the platform that I know of, and I believe that exists, so... Um, there's three different contracts and we have the best one. So your subscription gets more value out of it than it could for some other channels. If you are trying to make sure more of it goes to me, that, that is a thing. So I can say that, but I cannot tell you the specifics. <laughs> uh, should buy Bloodborne, you're afraid to do that because you're bad at it? Doesn't that excite you though? Like, don't you get like hyped about the fact that you might not be good at it, but then you could if you put the effort in, right? I don't know. For me, I, I kind of look for games that destroy me. Like, I don't really like playing a game and it being super easy if um, that's not really the point of it. So, like, if a game kicks my ass, like, beyond the point of belief, like, that's actually just amazing in my opinion. I think they've. And especially if it's in, like, a good way, like, not artificial difficulty where it's just quantity or, uh, you know, excessive uh, rules or maybe a lack of rules that don't really make sense. But if it has like a good good uh, structure to it, like honestly, there's nothing better than getting destroyed for like a few years <laughs> until you progress because then you're getting so much more value out of your money and it'll probably make you a really good player. And then it, that might actually also translate in other games too, so. But I will say to, to this game, it's mainstream difficult. It's not excruciatingly painful compared to like what is out there so I think you'll be fine if you just give it a chance and if you're looking for just like pure entertainment and not so much uh, challenge then I mean it's fine if you don't like the game for that reason that's why they make a lot of different games but yeah I think that uh, sometimes with these like people will play them thinking it's like a story or like a like a RPG style thing where they could just relax it's definitely not <laughs> and you won't be able to relax but um, sometimes that's a good surprise. Sometimes it's just like not for you, right? So it just depends on giving it a chance. Now, I wouldn't say buy a PS4 for the game. But if you already have one, uh, it's 20 bucks. Uh, Bleach Mob, thank you for the uh, five months. Every game can be beat. Well, yeah, if they release it, they've had they have to prove that it can be beaten unless it's like a special kind of thing, like the mods for Dark Souls. Sometimes those have not been beaten. The way I framed it from the from the inside. That's weird.
Uh, do I have some sort of stream schedule? Just wanted to watch more often. I, I, I unfortunately don't right now. That's the, the thing. And I've been kind of like iffy this week too. Uh, it's for good reasons. There's a lot of other things I'm trying to handle that are really important. Um, so uh, there will be like a steadiness to it again, like this coming week. Most likely you'll see that more. It, <laughs> unless like something random happens. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I used to have like, I, I've tried pretty much everything you can think of other than doing two streams a day for each time zone or major time zone. Um, which wouldn't make a huge difference, I don't think. But I might try it again. I might try it at some point just to say I've done everything scheduling-wise. But I've had every single time slot. I've done uh, strict to the minute every single day for months, but without failing. I've done sporadic. I've done, uh, you know, spanning across different time slots, all within one time slot, uh, overnight, you know, super early morning. I've tested a lot of that. Uh, the schedule we have now is, like, afternoon time slot, no specific, like, exact start time but within like a range, and that range is the best for the time zones that watch us right now. It's the highest percent return for audience attention um, if we start at the right time and we hit two peaks. So that's what I've deduced from it, but because I'm just not really trying to stream like crazy hours anymore, um, I've started to find the value in not doing that. Um, it's just a little bit less of the streaming. Um, but I want to keep the days more consistent. It's just like the hours might not be as long as they used to be. I'm not sure if they ever will be again, but... Uh, unless it if something calls for it, but I really don't think it's healthy to stream for the eight hours. Yeah, even, you know, I'd say even six. Six is like pretty good, but it's still, it's still like if you take enough breaks, it could be fine. Um, I think unfortunately though, like to me, like I was comparing it to regular like uh, shift work. So I was like, oh, okay, like you have to stay here. Like, why not impose the same schedule on this just because then it's, like, orderly? But it, it actually doesn't work, really work that way. It actually disadvantages you quite a bit. Because then you lose time on other things, then your health goes down, too. So I'm really prioritizing that so that the quality of all this can actually come through a little bit better in the end. So that's one thing I can guarantee. There probably won't be as many hours as we used to do. But I'll make sure those hours are better um, as, uh, as we, you know, decide what we're doing and all that. Uh, Slim, thanks for the four hours, or <laughs> the four months, not the four hours. <laughs> Said the word hours too many times. No more back-to-back -back trilogy runs? Oh yeah, no, we're going to be doing like crazy runs still. Like I said, if there's something that calls for a longer stream once in a while, for sure. Um, and there will be time periods we go through where we will be grinding super hard and like there's no cap on what the hours will be. But I'm going to have to keep a general grasp on how much I'm actually putting into sitting here and doing this because uh, there is a certain limit to what actually is beneficial. So the, dimin the, the diminishing returns are something I'm not really like, looking for anymore when it comes to like, you know, okay, we've addressed every time zone majorly. A lot of people have already been watching for quite a bit. Now we're just going just because we want to keep going. But, you know, most people are already, um, you know, kind of winding down for the day. It doesn't really matter too much to extend it like an extra hour or two. There's kind of like these zones where it's like it doesn't matter too much, right? Uh, so I think if you're hitting peak times for your schedule, it's fine. But I also don't want to like give people a lack of stuff to watch either. So that's why I'm saying like you know the YouTube's got to pick up a little bit more. We got to have some extra stuff on there on, on, aside from the things we're doing on this too. So that's why I try to start doing that as well. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a system for that where we can do it way quicker and just get like super big ideas done very fast. And I I've improved a little bit at my speed for stuff, but there's still some other things I got to learn. So. Yeah, Barb streams twice a day. Barb's a genius when it comes to the streaming. He, he did it right. He realized really early. Although, I think for me, like, I'm not a, I don't know, I don't really look at myself as just a streamer anymore. It's kind of like, it's not like where I want to put all my time. But there's some people that will put all their time into it because it's a good idea for them for whatever their plan is. So I'm just trying to divide it a little bit more. But I don't want to necessarily be like, you know, super, super low hours either. We're not going to be like part time like we were in the beginning, but uh, something between that, I think. Um, but yeah, no, no, I do need to actually try to hit, hit a similar range, though. <laughs> that is something I've been really bad at lately. Take Nem streaming schedules, two hours a couple times a month. Yeah, I mean, I think that he took some time because he wanted to, um, you know, not focus so much on streaming, but like refresh himself so he could do better for the, the channel. But for me, it's like there's other things, too, that I need to set up that need to be done in a certain time frame. And they can't be if I put like many years, just, you know, eight to ten hours a day into this with minimum breaks. 
I realized that a while ago, but can't make back up for that at all at a certain point. And there's a benefit to it, but the benefit again is diminishing, so it's not like you can't like stream just I don't know. I I feel like some people could benefit a lot from taking some time extra. Not not like you know, like half of it, just a little bit off of the top that you don't really need to put in. <laughs> Um, aside from the people that are doing esports, if you're doing esports, you don't have a choice. You have to play t 12 hours a day, or you're going to get fired or something like that. But if you don't come from that background, it's not super important. Uh, only here for school. Thanks for the, the Prime sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome. Let's watch the Halo run on YouTube. Uh, which one? The Bloodborne one that we did? get control over the second dog on that part. That part usually is pretty good. Maybe you saw a, a point where it was like a rare case of them escaping or something. Sometimes he glitches through a wall so he, he actually can get behind you. Cherry smoked tenderloin. That sounds crazy. Cherry, like cherry wood? I don't know if I've had something smoked with cherry wood before. Hmm, maybe. Uh, Zol, what's up? How's it going, dude? How have you been? Uh, it might be a real rude question. Are you into Sto stoicism? Uh, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Stoicism? Uh, I mean, like, people have, like, mentioned it before. I think that's a a element of a uh, mind state for certain things, but I don't know if like, I don't know, I don't typically try to read into like full subjects like that as absolutes. They're just aspects of things to me. So um, I don't believe absolute stoicism or stoicism, whatever you pronounce it as, actually serves you best for the multitude of situations you may have to, get to go through um, when it comes to um, decision and the action and all that so as long as it's maybe not like an absolute present thing like at all times then there can be value in that in that that kind of behavior or uh or outlook also chef thanks for the uh the brand new sub hope you enjoy your emotes dude although like the actual i think the the idea of that is also looking at it from a particular lens as well where you kind of again you just all these qualities that define it are limited to that group and that group only, or like those elements. But really, like I think you could have those elements with a wider range of other things going on in terms of perspective. It's just, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's like one of many things to act, like act within, or like many different types of philosophies, I guess. But then, like, there's an overlap with a lot of things anyways, so it's like, that's why I said that I think there's benefit in not taking that as an absolute thing to be living by if you're trying to take tips from that or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce, or I'm not sure how to, like, articulate it, because for me, most people were telling me, like, that that's what I usually do, but I don't really identify with that being a thing. It's, I was just told that by a lot of people. But I don't, and then I read about it a little bit more, and I was like, I don't know if I fully believe that all of this... Um, would be beneficial at all times. I think it's just maybe at a time and a place. Uh, Brawla, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Did I say your name right, by the way? Uh, MLC, I think, uh, honestly, dude, there's going to be, uh, like, some, something that's super interesting to one person is going to be boring to someone else, so that's just subjective, right? I appreciate that you think that, though. That's cool. 
that you don't find it boring, but for 100%, I'm 100% certain that like many people would, just as much as many people would find the exact opposite of this very boring too. So it's just uh, all preference, that's the beauty of it, where there's not really a platform for anyone. Just a very small group of people, right? What happened to Trilogy Runs, Lewin? We already got them. If you type in exclamation point Trilogy, there's a link to it. <laughs> you know, someone's a pro gamer when they eat mollies into the distance, Being but why? <laughs> that is pretty cool. The hard work, my guy. Much love. Uh, Robbie, thank you so much for the 10 months. Welcome back, man. I'm glad you're able to, uh, to catch the stream today, at least. I understand the whole schedule thing being kind of hard that schedule is really difficult I, when i worked that schedule it was um it was impossible to keep up with most things um in general just because everybody else on the exact different side of the timeline right <laughs> unless you of course don't sleep too much then maybe you can kind of cheat a little bit but it's like not the greatest for you already even if you are getting full sleep Um, you said you seem to be stoic. Didn't mean you are. It means that your mindset fits stoicism uh, in the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that a lot of people's mindsets do to some capacity, um, especially if you're doing something that's more like of a bigger picture style thing, like you definitely wouldn't benefit in the short term from holding on to too many details that don't serve you really in the whole process of doing whatever you're doing. So this is a good example of that. It's like there's a lot of stuff that doesn't matter that needs to happen for the other things to come through that do matter. And the way you actually put weight on those things heavily depends on the output and the, and the um, efficiency and the speed and everything. So I kind of like just categorize it that way and that that would fit um, like the stoic kind of stuff a little bit. But then it also still has some mindfulness into the benefits of the upsides of the small successes. So it's like you're not indifferent to those, but you see the value of them as, um, you know, the the things that you could look at as unimportant or like negative as the actual upsides because you take those and then you actually manipulate them to be better things or lessons that you actually build stuff from. So you need to actually fail a certain amount and then like realizing that um, it's kind of just like you're just getting a, like working out the kinks, right? Like you're just generating um, information to be able to manipulate to make your uh, move. So you, you actually have to do that. Um, and people want to not have those things because they want the instant, it's like just about quicker, better, get me, get me the best result right now. But um, I think not wanting that is actually important in doing this because if you do want that, you won't be happy <laughs> ever until you stop wanting that. So that's a hard part with this, I think, is you genuinely have to not want the early, the, the, the quick victory because you have to see how beneficial the long term is. Uh, we didn't buy the knives, did we? That's fine though. I think. Wait, actually. Yeah, it shouldn't matter too much. It should be fine. Dorsal, what's up? How's it going? Unfortunately, you have the summer to enjoy more things like your streams and music production. No worries, though. About scheduling, life happens. Yeah, like I, I know, I know that there's nothing that you can do about it sometimes, but um, I really do appreciate that you make the time that you do when you can. That's something that I think some people 
outline as a, as a, like a obligation or like an expectation of mine like that I expect that you'll do that but it's just something you can choose to do that you're making the decision to do so I really appreciate that um, that's how you choose to spend the time because um, it isn't an obligation it isn't something that we are entitled to and there's no owing so it's like thanks man What is this weapon? This weapon is the uh, sock lever. I wish we could line this one up right here. Oh no, wait, we didn't even aggro, apparently. We're good. Wow, this is weird. Rare opportunity here. Yeah, this is actually pretty, <laughs> this is a rare opportunity. None of them got aggroed at all. This is very weird. So you can just throw tons of Molotovs right now. crazy am i allowed to do any glitches on this run so if a glitch happens by accident that's fine but i'm not allowed to um exploit any glitches or use any to my advantage if that makes sense uh there there i don't think there even is any that would uh, benefit us on this like i really don't know of any i can think of that would be good <laughs> How long will a full run take? Uh, about an hour, 20 minutes for the in-game time. So actually on the full, on the total clock, you might see it close to an hour, 20, maybe an hour, 25. Um, I'm trying to work on getting it a little bit faster. I think that we we already eliminated like an hour, a minute and a half yesterday flat just from one situation. And then uh, there's plenty of other things that are improving. So I think that it'll go down, but I don't believe it could go much lower than 110 because that would be dependent on luck as well, unless we actually change some more of the methods. but. Yeah, there is like one part really that where we, where we just save like a good chunk of time and that makes it so much nicer. And then gas coin I've gotten a bit quicker too. Like there's certain times that you want to do certain things that will kind of squeal sub, squeal end. set up the fight for more frequency of attacks better. Like you actually are capitalizing the frequency more than just trying to get more counter damage at any point in time that doesn't maximize uh, the speed of it. So I tried to focus on that a little bit. And then that, that actually helps a lot altogether. So, I, it, like when I say 120, that's like what we used to be getting before all this stuff. Now it might be different. Uh, 
Uh, game line, thanks for the 38 months. Welcome back, dude. How are you doing? Uh, Parabell, thanks, man. That's very nice of you. Although, the thing, I would actually argue that, like, there's a lot of people that do radio that don't actually have um, the qualities that people usually will say are, like, needed or beneficial or whatever. So, I mean, I think you can do it without sounding a certain way. It's just getting the degree for it, right? And having the ability to read the stuff and obviously not be, like, super distracting from, uh, you know, the experience or whatever. We have heard quite a few different people on the radio that definitely, you wouldn't normally be like, oh, that's a radio person, they're just people that got the job. So it's kind of funny. I, I think you'd have a better chance not sounding anything special and having education than just being like a good fit. But you know, the like, the reluctancy of them wanting to try out someone that doesn't have education for the job and also doesn't really care about it too much, right? Depends on that, I think, more. But it, it probably happens anyways, but just not as likely as the alternative where you just go for that job, so. You're pursuing a bachelor's in uh, mass communications? Nice, nice. So you want to do radio out of that? Hey, Squill Happy. Flomix, thanks for the 21 months, man. Welcome back. Thanks for using your Prime sub too. Oh, we don't have any of these left. I didn't take any out from the thing. Okay, so I'll have to do an escape here. Or we'll, we'll just kill this guy. That's good, though, because then this makes up for a little bit of the situation we had earlier. Just really got to make sure that this kills him. Can I play this song on repeat for the whole stream? I wish to. <laughs> that that would be a really good song if we were gonna play something on repeat. Uh, Maximus, what's up? How's it going, dude? You're minoring in PR and advertising, DJ. Oh, nice, dude. That's actually a decent combination, I think. To or at least just having some experience for advertising, so huge. Uh, El Nombre, I did, yeah, dude. He um, so Josh helped him. I don't know if you guys know Josh Arino. He knows quite a bit about this stuff, uh, probably a bit more than me even. But um, yeah, he helped me out with some stuff. I was actually gonna go and do that anyways, but when I do it, I try to, you know, it's you just have to keep recording and then testing things over and over and you might not get a better result. But I was like, you know, just for the hell of it, let's just try this and see if dialing in all this stuff with no, like no like extensive testing actually helps. And uh, this time it did, which is something I haven't really experienced too often, but it was like a lucky, Lucky situation. We have the exact same hardware, but he has a different um, method to get the audio from analog to digital than me, so that would change the output input a little bit. Uh, and then, obviously, he's a different person, so sounds different. There's differences that you need to try to, try to emphasize in your your EQ band. So I could dial it a little bit better, but it's it's much better. It addresses the problems that. All right, uh, we wanted the, the knives now. We actually, we do want more of these, but I'm not gonna buy them though. Four should be enough for this area. Uh, these we have in storage, we're fine. All right. Setting up audio gear can be needlessly complex. Yeah, you can go down so many rabbit holes. It's kind of like a stream. I mean, it's, I would say it's even worse than stream setups in some cases, but it's like trying to set up a stream. You can't just tell somebody, hey, like use these settings and it works. Sometimes, but not all the time though. It's the same kind of idea. Uh, well, if I didn't say thank you, thank you for the five months, dude.
<laughs> I tried to almost R2 off the cliff. Wow. That would have been ridiculous. Another amazing way to fail the run. Really hoping the scowl drop oil earns, man. Unless, like, is there some right here that we can grab? Let me see. No, there's not. Just quick silver bullets. I was curious. Don't blame me. I wanted to see. The run's not over. It's fine. I think. Maybe. Maybe it's over. Actually, let's see if this guy catches up. Maybe he won't. Oh, he is. That's fine, though. No, no Fs. I was just... <laughs> I knew that there wasn't too much risk in trying to grab that. I just wanted to see. Because uh, if we can find oil urns on the ground, that is just amazing. This music makes you want coffee. I should sell the, the playlist to a, a cafe or something. And they'll be like, well, we could just download it. And I'll be like, well, good luck finding it. And then they'll be like, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> oh, this is annoying, but we can fix it. I think the one carryover for this run is that you actually are forced to kill a lot of these guys um, just face to face. So it's kind of like if you get in a situation with one on this, I mean, even that snake dude on the bridge, like, you kind of just don't get panicky. It's like really easy to just fix the situation if you screwed up. Like that's the first time I've ever screwed that up. Not even a worry though. Uh, normally that would be probably pretty scary because you don't have a lot of room you can move around safely. You have finals tomorrow said, definitely study for your finals, man. Okay, make make this your uh, your strategy. So every time I'm starting a run, don't pay attention. Just study until uh, I get to a point that looks kind of interesting, and then from there, uh, when something interesting does happen, then you can stop studying, take a break, and watch. But only if there is a result there. So if you're seeing the first half of the game, you're always studying. If you see shadows, you can stop and take a break. Anything after that, you can break. But anything before that's always studying. And then you will guarantee to get more stuff done, and you won't miss anything that's unimportant. And then the stuff you did miss, you could always watch back after. That's my my challenge to you. I mean, maybe you're the, the same as me. Like, I wouldn't be able to watch stream while studying. I just put music on, so. You could always try music, too. Or just listen. But if someone's commentating something, it could be a little bit harder to pay attention. So I'd say... That doesn't work, just maybe listen to music. <laughs> it kills you, Zol? Wait, are you saying that you, you, you don't suffer from that, or is that something that you also have a problem with? Should open up a cafe. The, the cafe is opened up specifically just to showcase this playlist. It's midnight here and need to sleep for tomorrow. Good luck with your run, Squilla. Uh, Adavita, thank you for the 25 months. Welcome back, dude. And also, uh, yeah, have a good sleep. <laughs> thank you for actually going to bed.
<laughs> when you're participating in online lectures, you're going to play chess on your other screen, really. That's fair. Well, uh, as long as you can still remember stuff, because I know I know people that literally don't pay attention to things. They remember like enough to basically be average level. Um, and they don't really do anything at all. And then there's people that like pay a lot of attention and do worse because they're just not really giving given information in a way that they can digest it. So whatever works for your learning the best. And if you're only aiming to do average or mediocre, then if that's all you need, that's all you need. I mean, if it's not something that you need to like get 100% on, then whatever. I understand. But obviously that's not a great thing if you're really trying to get a good mark on something you care about. So hopefully it doesn't screw you over too much. It disturbs your learning. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe you gotta learn or structure the way that you teach yourself stuff a little bit differently once it's given to you. So like maybe you do the lecture and then you kind of go back over the information in your way that makes it better for you to understand. I don't know. What's the song? Uh, Airy Fairy Heart by Franz Gordon. Uh, wait, you know what? Okay, I need eight. Well, actually, I need 12 of them. I think. And then. Wait, we already have the stats, don't we? Yeah, we do. We're making up for other stuff. Sorry, like the um, <laughs> the quantities of items on this is off by a little bit. The timing of when we bought them and what we actually got was a little bit weird. Also, Briner, thank you for the, the 100 bits. That's very nice of you. You could have put a message that trolled me for a good, like, 30 seconds. Or even longer. What if you put that number that's, like, two, 2 trillion, billion, million, whatever, and then it reads it forever? Think of all the, uh, all the trolls that could be pulled off. Uh, Will, what's up? How's it going, dude? If you do school long enough, your grades stop mattering anyways. Uh, I don't know if I understand what you mean, but <laughs> you're, you probably have a point there. I just don't understand what, you, what you're saying. Your wife was wondering why you went from Guar to Franz Gordon, because Franz Gordon never has a bad time to make an appearance. And Guar can wait because they've, they've just made it, man. We need to give Franz Gordon some success here. Everybody go download his music. Nah, actually, Guar's pretty cool, too. <laughs> uh, Bubba, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Realize I won't be using blood bullets. Yeah, I can't do that. Actually, I made them and I ruined a run. So, good reminder. Uh, Zan, what's up? How's it going, dude? Crimson, I'm doing good, man. How are you? <laughs> Let me get a boneless pizza and a two liter of Coke. Oh, man. That, dude, I forgot about boneless pizza until you said that. That's, uh, that warms my heartstrings, man. Beautiful. We, we should not forget about Harambe, Crumple the Kid, or boneless pizza. Like, those three things are super important.
don't know if anybody remembers the tombstone incident, but I was heavily trying to avoid that because we were walking right into a rip run without even realizing it. <laughs> so I just saved the run from something that had nothing to even do with attacks. But that was that was pretty scary though, because we did it right, but then we still got trolled a little bit. If you've seen the the god run that we did one time, the way we lost it. The four and a half games, basically the same thing. So that would have been really bad. Basically just getting your toe stubbed. Or someone falling on your toe. Was that an AI lock at the end? Um, so basically his AI makes him try to evade you to be able to do the long range attack. So if you put pressure on him at a certain uh, rate, he will have to continue to try to make space, but then you can kind of time it, so... It's kind of a, um, it's not like a scripted event, but it's sort of like a heavily emphasized response to, um, like, pressure if he's trying to do the, the snakes. Because he can't, like, the game won't let him actually do that close range. Which, the one time he did, that's what I was saying, like, you don't really see that. It's not supposed to be allowed, so, like, the game held the, uh, opportunity to do it. And then bypassed whatever would have happened, um, you know, when we were closer, right? So just delayed the, uh, the command for it, and then still let it play out even though it wasn't acceptable anymore from I guess like the way the code would work or whatever the way I'd imagine it would work <laughs> cappuccinos but it's like it's like the kappa guy's face that'd be amazing that's actually a really good idea wow well, they're, they're probably gonna uh, sue me for it if I if I try to do it because it'll already be like a thing that they've made watch all right this is gonna be scary bugs right there does he turn around? He does, but can he actually commit to this? No, not quite. Okay, but he might land on me after we get in here, so I have to do a jump from here, and then I gotta do a roll recovery. And the jump might not set me up at all, so... He's gonna fall. Oh, he didn't actually go to the edge, nice. That was pretty lucky. Ah, uh, Squirrel, thank you for gifting five subs, man. You didn't have to do that. What is going on here? Everybody that just got gifted a sub from uh, Squirrel, if you don't say thank you, your toes may fall off in five days. It's possible. You don't have toes, though. Okay, well then, your eyelashes will fall out at a rapid rate that's uncomfortable. Two-month two month anniversary, so cheers. Thank you so much, man. That's... It's definitely not necessary, but it, it's very appreciated, though. But you're, you're a little crazy, just saying. You guys are a little crazy. Tiniest bit. Oh, this is a good run. One, two, three, and we get the stagger. So you get like five hits. Oh, it's perfect. Look at this. Can't lose. Easy. Why did I have to look it up to make sure there are 12 months in a year? How's it going, Squirrel? <laughs> Why'd you have to look it up to make sure there's 12 months in a year? Thanks for the uh, the 12 months, Woman Bird. I appreciate it. How are you doing? I hope you enjoy your new badge, by the way. Getting Rama to teleport's a nice move. That's not actually intentional. It's just sometimes you get lucky with it because she will try to back out of the area due to the invisible wall and then there's a rare case that it'll just be like whatever as far as I know but that was really good though because it saves us items that we can actually use later 
and they're really important later. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to travel and level a little bit because the the Bellmate is so hard to ki uh, kill with the levels we have now, so we're going to level first and then get items later. We're going to switch around this part of the run. Hey, Squeal, been a while and congrats on the trilogy run. Like even just a little bit of leveling, that, that should be good. Uh, Frost, thank you for the six months, man. Thanks for the congrats on the trilogy as well. Welcome back. How are you, man? Never thought about Rom's gender? Uh, well, it says, like, on the thing, it's uh, Master Willem's Daughter. There's a book for it. There's also, there's some other stuff you can read, I think, like, out of descriptions. But it's just the uh, science project of Ma Master Willem's daughter, basically. All right, see if we can actually get the bolt paper right away on this. That was a little slow. We gotta be quick now. You don't wanna waste too much time on this part. Bloodborne double speed. Ooh, I shouldn't have thrown that there. That was not smart. That doesn't really matter. That's if you're going to do the jump. Yeah, Bloodborne double speed, I don't actually believe I can do. I don't have a way to mod the game, so... I don't think I have access to any kind of modded version of the game with PS5. But uh, I would totally, I would take the opportunity to try it if I could. I just don't want to buy a PS4 and then jailbreak it. That's kind of extra just for, you know, a couple videos or whatever. It's once, like, the the amount of stuff on it outclasses the cost to pay for it that I will pay for a PS4 just to make content with it. But it has to be enough things that it would be, like, you know, a, hand, a large handful of videos that were going to be fairly big. Or it's, like, it's kind of a weird thing to buy, right? Oh, the gesture. That's all right. We can fix it. Just this is going to run out sooner, which is kind of dangerous, so you need to be very careful now. And that's like that.
<laughs> hate this place so much. This is probably my least favorite part of the game, but it is such a good area, though. Like, I'm actually glad the reason I don't like it is because of the difficulty of it. Not really the design. The design's pretty good. They actually effectively made the place terrible, <laughs> which is probably what they wanted to encompass, right? You do I have had some serious health issues and your videos and streams have provided me with hours of great distraction. Uh, Primal, I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I really wish you the best with um, whatever the situation is that you're you're going through with that. Um, I, I appreciate that I could help. That's, that's, that's honestly awesome, man. Thanks for letting me know. And thank you for the two months as well. Ah, uh, you played Akinator over and over, you could guess accurately. Until it could guess you accurately, then you added the picture. I don't know what Akinator is, what is, what is that? <laughs> For whatever reason, it made me think of Atkins. I was thinking of like a diet planner or something like that. <laughs> Praise the sun. They said it couldn't be done. Luckily for us, Squiller is the doer of that which cannot be done. Squill memes Squill. Uh, Nate, thank you for the three months, man. And uh, Deepot, thanks for the, the 58 months as well. Welcome back, dude. They said it couldn't be done. Wait, who? Tell me who said that. Let me, let me, let me figure that out. Let's try. Hey, Squiller. I missed you yesterday. I was in an accident and at the hospital and you weren't streaming. Shame on you. Wait, what happened, uh, Purple? Thanks for the, the 15 months, by the way, man.
Uh, a couple scrapes in your forehead and arm. Your phone was destroyed, though. Broken half. Oh my god, dude. What happened? What, like, what was the situation, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, wait, you know what? Before we do these... Eh. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. And then I'm going to see how much we have for the consumables. 24, that's good, okay. And then 12. Yeah, I think everything's fine, okay. Good luck. Uh, Zan, thanks for the good luck, man. Yeah, Guava, honestly, I'm local recording anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be doing that from now on for these. I mean, I probably should have the whole time, but even if that does screw up, it doesn't matter. The chase on this is kind of iffy, though. I'm off to work. Keep up the streams. Mm, DJ, thanks for the, uh, the bits, man. I appreciate it. Also, have a good rest of your, uh, your day, if you have to go. Thanks for hanging out. Sam, thank you for the 63 months. Welcome back. Uh, Abaddon, no, it's definitely not you. <laughs> At least hope you don't miss it live. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. I wouldn't be too worried. You don't have to do that at all, man. You've done way too much. Just 
How about this? How about you get to pick a streamer that I get to choose that you give five subs to, or you do something nice for somebody in your life with the money instead? If you're giving me the decision, we'll give it to somebody that deserves it, or or you can keep it. <laughs> Both better options. Did you ever watch Kitchen Nightmares? Oh yeah, dude, I've seen those before. That was a funny show. I saw that when it was on TV, actually. That was like one of the last shows I remember watching before uh, I stopped having cable. can do it. Uh, Crimson, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Super nice of you. Way too nice. Where are we heading on this? I don't know where he went. What the fuck? Oh, he because he's already poisoned, so he did that. Okay. But he's over here. All right, this is the long, the long kill. Incredible if I got to run them runs, wasn't here to ruin chat. Why would he? Why would he ruin chat? He's pretty cool. Sorry, I was just saying that in case he's actually listening. No, he's a he's a, he's a punk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the UK is not real, so you can't ruin it. That's a good way to put it. It was pretty decent to get him down like a little bit, but this will be like the final situation here. Just Molotovs. Actually, they do good damage too. That's not too bad. So you're going to probably have to use a little bit of bullets, but this is still faster than usually how it would go. Panzer, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, oh, sorry. You're asking me if I'm playing on PS5. I am on PS5, yeah.
think I'll still use some of the poison knives, too. Uh, are there any improvements on PS5, like load times? Ah, uh, there is, yeah. There is better load times, from what I've noticed. Like, a little bit? Like, nothing too crazy. Okay, let's try the, the poison and see if that works. Just have to be very careful. Oh, those are 17, though. That's still not that good. Okay, so I'll do that, then I'll do some shots in between. Well, Maximus, it's not really about that. You can't actually get down there to plunge attack him, so you have to do it this way, and then you have to... You particularly don't have a choice. Like, you have to do it this way, or you have to poison him and force him to move areas, then run all the way around the entire map, then chase him back up and repeat that over and over. Uh, there's no actual way to kill him with the regular method, because you take damage, so... This is required. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't. This is really boring. Totally would do it the more fun way. And we already did to show like what the difference is just on practice because uh, I didn't want to waste so much time. But yeah. Want to start with poison knives because he actually um, glitches out. If you, if you poison him and then he didn't drop through the hole through this room right here, then it glitches out. Or it doesn't glitch out, it just puts him in a different location. And we don't really want to chase him back up here and risk the skeleton, so we gotta wait. Thing with his poison though is that I, it feels like the the bar is kind of built up forever. It's crazy. So there's a chance we will still screw it up a little bit, but if I can hit him once after that, we're good. Uh, the poison would kill him anyways. He won't actually get poisoned. It'll cancel it. That's what I was saying. It's going to screw up. It won't actually work. So you actually want him to not get poisoned. You want the physical damage. Unless he drops to the hole over here, then you do want the poison. It's kind of hard to understand unless you, you, like, you've done both methods and you get why it works that way. But to make it very simple, it's just if he drops down one way, you do one thing. If he does the other way, you can't do the thing you were going to do the other way. So you have to do this instead. But we also have to wait in between so he doesn't get poisoned. We don't want the build up. So I'm waiting a really long time. Because <laughs> you, you technically have to. The timer is pretty crazy. Can get blood bullets if I run out of knives. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could. Probably wouldn't be the best idea. Uh, Tacklar, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out, by the way. Any pebbles? I don't have any pebbles, no. I think we'll be fine. We just don't want to stack too many knives together, so I gotta wait. I used to do, like, two and then wait, but it wasn't good enough. Because <laughs> all it takes is, uh... I think at this point, you can literally throw two from here and he'll get poisoned. I don't know. Unless it was like residual bar left over from the three that I did, or the the third one before that, but you have to you have to wait in between each one if you want to be careful. Uh, Jason, thanks, man. Also, Papa Bread, thanks for the nine months. What's popping? Uh, I don't know. Eyeballs, maybe? I don't know, we're killing Mikolash, so... <laughs> okay, so he, he still got poisoned anyways. Which is really annoying, because he's only got one fraction of health left, so it's still counted. That's, like, literally how long I'm talking about that you have to wait. You have to wait a ridiculous amount of time. And it's still not good enough. And then it'll kind of bug out, and he'll be in this one area, but you won't see him the first time you go through here sometimes. And then he'll be there when you get back there, even though he, you didn't pass by him, so... 
Obviously, that makes no sense, right? But this is kind of dangerous, though. You don't want to be with these skellies right here. Especially with no bullets, right? Because that's how you kill them, so... It's a little dangerous. I don't think I ran far enough into the one room, to be honest. Yeah, there, there he is, see. Isn't that, isn't that so weird? That, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want to do it where you just poison them at any cost, because it just doesn't work. Like, if we wanted to, we might be able to catch up here. On the corner? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Oh, nice. He went. Perfect. This music is pretty epic, I will say. <laughs> well, it removes the poison, then it moves him to another area. But he doesn't show up in that area. You have to, like, do things to make him show up, which make no sense, so... It's, it's kind of silly. Uh, he still had a fraction monkey. It's because he got poisoned. Timing wasn't perfect for how long I was waiting. But I'm lucky that we actually got that because that situation usually would be really annoying. We practiced it though.
Alright, that's that. There's the run. I appreciate everybody that supported me doing this one and watching it. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of hard to watch because the uh, network stuff. So I'll try to see if I can get my local recording to match up pretty well. If it doesn't, then we'll just do it another time because we're going to have to do it again. So um, we'll see what happens. I didn't have anything else planned, but because the the connection is pretty shitty, we might just end. So we'll see what's going on. The night and the dream were long. Um, wait a second. Boosie, thank you very much for the uh, the bits, man. I really appreciate that. That was very nice of you. <laughs> thank you for the GGs, everybody. Really good timing on this one, too. Even though we waited quite a bit and we had the GG. super, super long finish on Mikolash. That's pretty good. I'm going to guess this is at least 120. But... Uh, boring, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Also, uh, Squirrel, thank you for the five gifted subs as well, man. That was very nice of you. But I said you should have used them on yourself. Likewise to what you say after a game of uh, G uh, League of Legends, GG Easy. That run was definitely not easy, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes for the uh, the VOD and all that. We'll see how, how it looks. Panda, thanks for the three months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Fight German now. Well, I can't technically on this file. Um... That would be pretty cool, actually. I am curious to see what the time is like on it, though. Uh, Linaya? Or Linaya? I'm not sure how you say that. Thanks for the brand new sub. Enjoy your moats. Welcome. Uh, also, you can correct me if I pronounced your name wrong, too. Definitely do so. Kim Kardashian 42069 was here. Uh, I used to lurk back when you're unemployed because of COVID, but you haven't been able to watch streams after getting a job, so you thought you'd drop by and show a little appreciation for those days, now that you can afford to. That was super nice of you. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do that at all, but um, congrats on getting um, back on the wagon, I guess, if so to speak. <laughs> and thank you for the good luck. Or oh, wait, no, not the good luck, sorry. Um, the kind words, sorry. I can't English. Congratulations, 120, Crimson, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing more Bloodborne stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Ready, for sure, Definitely. 